Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Brush Creator's new settings, the Curve Editors. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now you can choose Show Brush Creator from the Properties panel, or we can press F5. So we have the Brush Creator open. New inside the Brush Creator, you can now very specifically adjust the curves, how your specific stylus works with your specific computer varies from person to person. So getting this fine tuned so this feels the way you want it to feel is a huge improvement, a giant step forwards. So let's take a look. So next to the different options here, we have size, opacity, there's this little curve editor. Now when you're playing with these things, you can create a new brush preset by saving as a new brush preset and we can do that or we can click right here and revert whatever settings we uh, adjust. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new brush preset. You can see it right down here and then we're going to play around with these. So if I tap on these, if this is blue, this means this is not the standard setting. So if I click here, reset curve, you're going to see what it normally does. So if I have this over here, this is what low pressure is going to do. This is what's going to happen when I press really hard. So if I want to reverse this, I can go like this, and then the size will increase with light pressure and decrease with heavy pressure. Let's reset it and notice here that this is white and not blue. So let's tap right here and you can see that there's a number of different options here. So we're going to jump over to Express Oils and we're going to take a look at exactly how size this curve affects the size of the brush line. So let's have this, we're going to have this all the way over here. So I'm going to press light to medium to hard in this brush stroke. All right, and not a whole lot of difference. And you're going to notice over here on the curve, there's not a lot of difference here either. Okay, so let's reset this. Now we're going to go from small, medium to hard pressure. You can see here we've got a very nice ramp from a very thin line a very small size to a very large or high size based on pressure. And you can see those right here, low, high with pressure, low, high with size. Let's reverse this. And I'm going to start with light pressure and down to heavy pressure. You can see this is going to give us exactly the opposite effect. So when you're playing around with these, keep in mind, check out what it says on the side. It says size here. Let's reset this and then let's tab over to opacity. You see we have opacity set at zero. If we drag this line over, we can see it being adjusted inside the curve editor. Let's bring this down to zero. So we can see opacity a little bit better. Let's go ahead and erase these lines. You can see the opacity increases. Now, if we bring this over, what's going to happen is, is we're going to be at 0% opacity until we get to this level of pressure. So light pressure, medium pressure, and heavy pressure. So if I tap right here, I'm going to create a new node. And that node, I can pull down, up, I cannot drag it back past the node in front of it, but if I want to get rid of it, I can just drag it straight off the screen and it will disappear. All right, so let's go ahead and close this. And I want to show you the options for paint mode curves. So this is really cool. And depending on which tool you're using, you might have paint and mix uh, available. You notice that this is grayed out here on the pencil tool because this is not an option for the pencil tool. So while we're switching between these modes here, paint and blend, paint and mix, blend, what I want you to see is over here, these are switching with us so that we're always painting with the mode that we have selected. So let's talk about these modes and how they play out in real life. So here we have paint and mix. We're going to start actually with paint and blend. I think this is a little bit easier to understand and see. We're going to reset this curve and let's go ahead and push on the screen. I'm going to push hard so we have a base color down and this really has not very much to do with the color but I'm going to demonstrate here just the blending aspect. So with light up to medium pressure I'm going to pull down 
here. If I adjust this up, then with light pressure, you're going to see I'm getting a lot of blending. And if I drag that off, you're going to see I'm going to get the same starting. Let's create that little bit of a ramp. All right, so now this here, when we switch to paint, this is a fairly sharp incline, which means that as I switch from painting, from blending to painting, this is going to be a fairly drastic jump. So here you can see this is a sharp transition from blending to painting. So let's smooth that out. Let's bring this over just a tad and let's put another node right here and let's do the same thing. Medium pressure. And you're going to see that we have a smooth transition. You see right here, this is a little sharper than we want. So let's bring this over just a tad and this down just a tad. Let's do that same thing one more time. Uh, we'll undo. And we can see a much smoother transition from blending to painting. So here we have paint pressure threshold. Now we have this set at 10%. This is number one, a percentage. And what this means is as we are painting and mixing, at one point we're going to transition from one to the other. So we may be mixing and then we're painting. And when we're painting, we have to drop 10% in pressure in order to revert or switch to mixing. And you can see here, right here, we can see where we're transitioning from painting back to blending during that decrease in pressure of 10%. Now, if you put this all the way up at 100%, you have to start using the brush again in order to uh, switch back to the initial low pressure mode. Now, a number of these pressure settings can be adjusted globally here in Edit, Preferences. You can go here to Pen Pressure Smoothing, Pen Pressure Sensitivity. There is a curve in here that you can play around with. Again, you can reset it. And these are global settings that apply to all the brushes. And then these ones are individual. If you make a change that you don't like, you can come up here, reset brush changes, and that'll go back to its default state. If you're worried about accidentally copying over something you don't want to copy over, go right here and choose save as new brush preset before you start playing with it. You'll notice that there are also curve editors next to a couple other things here. Shape border, which we'll talk about in another video. Open curve editor uh, for tilt. And, and then down here for the canvas settings, you have curve editor for texture strength. And then this one right here is new paper texture scratch. This means that if the canvas has little bumps that go up, this is going to draw on those bumps first. This means it will draw on the little valleys first in between the bumps. And auto will go in between those two things. And so those are the new features for the brush creator. I hope this video helped. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. We'll go into a lot more detail in the brush creator, all the settings, what everything does, and the updated videos for Rebel 5 coming soon. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.